Paper, one of the four great inventions of ancient China, along with gunpowder, printing and the compass. The history and craft of paper making is the focus of a new museum in the remote village of Xingxuang in Yunnan province. The tiny museum is typical of a recent trend in China. Hundreds of small-scale museums are springing up throughout the country as the new middle classes spend money and leisure time on learning about their history and culture. <laughs> the museum is a place for cultural exchange between the visitors and locals. So the visitors, they can learn the paper making here and the artists, they can do artworks here. The museum consists of eight timber-clad blocks linked by glazed corridors. The largest of the buildings houses studios and accommodation for artists or other guests. The gallery space is divided among six smaller huts arranged around the edges of the site. At the centre is a small courtyard featuring a two-storey tea room. The layout of the museum is intended to evoke the village beyond. The building's geometry and scale responds to the surrounding buildings and landscape. Since it's at the uh, entering road of the village, so it's conceived as a kind of preview window to the village. Every family, they're going to show the paper making process to the visitors. So museum and the village becomes a bigger museum. That is the concept. The gallery buildings were designed to maximize wall space for exhibitions with narrow skylights for illumination. Ventilation is achieved through gaps in the stone base of the buildings, built from local volcanic rock. Other local and traditional materials feature throughout the museum, including pine, bamboo and, of course, handcrafted paper. The museum reminded me of some museums I've been where it flows from room to room, unlike in the huge city museums where it's all one sort of gallery. So that's where it's different and, uh, of course, a lot more intriguing in that way, because I don't know what I was going to find in the next room. And I love the, the fact that I can look out in the field all the time and it reminded me of uh, Renoir painting, you know, how he sat there to paint in the sunlight. I can well imagine how it can inspire people.